What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released the fourth beta of iOS 15.6 to register developers about two weeks after the third beta, which was a bit out of character for Apple. They usually switch to a weekly release after a second beta. But anyways, in addition to this iOS release, we also got the fourth beta of iPadOS 15.6, tvOS 15.6, HomePod OS 15.6 and watchOS 8.7 and macOS Monterey 12.5 beta 4 came out on Friday with the new M2 MacBooks. But in this video, of course, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and discussing what's new in the software along with when to expect the final release. All right, so let's start off with the size of this update. So you can see here on my iPhone 12 Pro, it came in at 606.4 megabytes. That is coming from beta 3. That size, of course, will vary depending on your device. Now, as far as as the build number if we head into our settings general about 15.6 we can see that the new build number is 19 g 5056 c so after back-to-back -back d build numbers we now have a c at the end of this build number which indicates we probably only have one more beta at most before we see the final release now if we head down to the modem firmware we also got a slight update there as well so it was 2.70.00 now it's 2.70.01 and that is on the iphone 12 series that number will be different depending on your device all right so now what's new here in beta 4 and as you guys probably know if you've been watching all my ios 15.6 beta videos there's really not much new here in ios 15.6 i mean even from the first beta there is hardly anything new in this update so now on a fourth beta of a 0.6 update you can't really expect too much so there's not really too much going on now one thing that i noticed has changed is inside of the books application it now says bookstore down at the bottom for the bookstore and this was actually a server side update so this updated on all devices and it's not exclusive to ios 15.6 and then of course we do have a fix for the apple music bugs if you deleted the music application and you reinstalled it it would automatically put it in your dock even if you had four icons down here it would replace one of those with the apple music application Application. that happened on 15.5 so that has been resolved now here in 15.6 and then if you guys remember in my last video I talked about how the weather data seems completely off on iOS 16 compared to iOS 15 so I'll show you guys another example here so this is iOS 15 on the right iOS 16 on the left take a look at the differences in temperature it's not even just one or two degrees it is consistently multiple degrees of a difference I mean look at this that is a six degree difference for the exact same location I just put in the city and you could see completely different temperatures there even for the low and high the high is different so very very strange and I looked at the data and it looks like the data is coming from the same source obviously iOS 16 probably did add more things in from dark sky which they acquired but still it's pretty funny to see this big of a difference on these two software versions and since i get asked pretty much every single day if a new digital driver's license state has been approved no nothing has been approved if we go into our wallet and go to driver's license or state id you could see it still remains at arizona and maryland like i mentioned before it's going to take a while to roll out to all states because it is up to that state if this is even going to be legal to begin with which i think it will be for most but it's going to to take you know the older people a little bit of time to basically pass a law saying you don't have to carry a physical id and you can use it on your phone however one thing i found funny was that somebody mentioned in my beta 3 video that they have their state id on their phone and they hardly ever use it so i found that comment pretty interesting so if you have this if you live in arizona or maryland let me know have you actually used this yet you know have you had a chance to use it have you went traveling anything like that let me know if it's actually something you use or even think about using instead of your physical id and then if we take a look at the release notes here for beta 4 if we scroll down you can see we do have one known issue for the home application so it says the ios device that initiates pairing it needs to be logged into the same icloud account as the home hub only the owner of a home not an invited user can pair matter accessories so apple of course making a big push for matter accessories that is one known issue there then we do also also have a known issue in Xcode and in beta 3 of course we did see that resolved issue relating to matter accessories but as you can see there's pretty much nothing mentioned here in the release notes and there really hasn't been anything since the first beta so I'm hoping that the final release actually gives us something and I'm sure it will Apple always does but I'm hoping there's a little bit more than just like one or two bug fixes in 15.6 now as far as the performance goes I am going to run a quick Geekbench test here so I did want to have the device sitting for a while before I did this so it wasn't hot and you know still processing all the 
those files in the back, but I haven't really been using 15.6 beta 3 too often. I have used it for a couple of days in the past two weeks since beta 3 was released, but we'll see what the Geekbench scores say here compared to beta 3. But overall, I would not really expect any change to the performance. It's probably going to be exactly the same as it was in beta 3, if I had to guess. All right, so we got a 1570 on the single core and a 3852 on the multi core. So if we compare that to beta 3, you could see the comparison right there. So slightly lower on the single core and also slightly lower on the multi core compared to beta 3. So of course, these scores don't always tell the full story, but they're similar enough and I would expect pretty much the exact same performance on both versions. And then as far as the battery life goes, this is going to be in the same boat as the performance. I would expect the battery life to be pretty much exactly the same as it has been since beta 2. So I talked to you guys about that before where beta 1's battery life was not good at all, but beta 2 did improve on that and beta 3 also improved a little bit over beta 2. But at this point, I would expect beta 3 on to pretty much be the same in terms of battery life until we hit the final release. Release. And speaking of that final release, let's go ahead and talk about when we can expect that. So right now we are on the last week of June. We probably have one more beta of iOS 15.6 left. Now, whether that's beta 5 or RC, it's hard to tell, but we should see that next week. Although that is the week of a holiday. So the 4th of July is next week but I still do think we're gonna see software releases that week. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Apple did do something they don't always do. So usually after beta three, Apple switches over to a weekly release schedule, but Apple still took two weeks to release this beta four from the release of beta three. So I think this is the time where Apple is going to switch over to a weekly schedule now. So we should see either beta five or RC next week. Now, we should also see iOS 16 beta 3 next week as well. So it's hard to say if they're going to fall on the same day or if it's going to be one day after another, or if we just skip a whole week again and we see 15.6 RC the week of the 11th. It's really hard to say right now. Apple is really mixing things up. They're really throwing curveballs like they always do, especially when there's two different versions of betas being released around the same time. It makes it kind of difficult. So I would plan on iOS 16 developer beta 3 coming next week, along with a beta or an RC of iOS 15.6. And then we should also see the iOS 15.6 final release, either the week of the 11th or the week of the 18th at the very latest, in my opinion. Now, we will also see the iOS 16 public beta come the week after developer beta three. So if we get developer beta three on the week of the fourth, we should see the public beta right there where I'm on vacation the week of the 11th. So keep that in mind. I know a lot of people are interested in installing the public beta because it will be a lot more stable than the first two betas for developers. And finally, I know I mentioned iOS 15.5.1 in the past, and I said how that's a possibility of coming. But if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I said that if it didn't come this past week, it was not coming at all. So I mentioned if it didn't come on the week of the 20th, we weren't going to see that at all. And I still stand behind that. I don't think we're going to see a 15.5.1. Apple's just going to wait until 15.6 rolls out to include all the bug fixes and a security updates that they're sitting on right now. So that's pretty much it for iOS 15.6 beta 4. A pretty boring update as usual, but you guys know I like to bring you updates when any software gets released, regardless of how big or small that update is. At least iOS updates I do that for because I know you guys are interested in seeing when those are released and if anything is new but hope you guys still enjoy this video regardless if you did i would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe for more fun videos coming in the not so distant future so a lot of ios 16 coverage i got an iphone 13 mini video coming a lot of fun stuff coming to the channel so make sure you are subscribed so you see those videos but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon